there's something about your demeanor. You look like you either you either found God or you just ripped the most beautiful line of coke of uncut uh, Costa Rican baby shit coke. One of the two. Wish. You either fell off the wagon and you're just like knee deep. You're just covered in drugs or you're just like literally are been meditating 40 minutes a day. Because I've never seen your face I, look like this. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. Do you want me to explain what's happening here? <clears throat> Should we save it for the pod? I feel like this is the pod. I feel like we're just going now. So. Let's just go. Let's go. Are we recording? Let's go. We're already recording. I feel so good about Jason's notes. Let's go. I feel so good about Jason's notes. Yeah. I feel so good about our friendship. I feel so good. About 2020, 2020 was so great for so many people. Hold on. Wait, one second. One okay. second. Is everyone hot on your end? Are we recording? Been recording. Cameras, mics, everything. We're good to go. Yeah. This episode is called Are We Recording? We're fucking hot! So 2020 was probably the best year for so many people. And we just want to really do a really nice recap of 2020. Um... But the thing that's different, I know that you're 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 you're, you're, you're looking at me, two tone. You're looking at me, and uh, and you're saying to yourself, "What's up with Maddie? Maddie's been so dismal. He's been he's been he, he's been like he's bipolar. There's, he's some days he's so sad. Some days he doesn't even participate in the pod. He does zero prep. He doesn't even promote the pod. He he he's he's lackluster. And some days, even at my best, is still perfectly mediocre." You come in hot 90% of the time. Um, you're really great at podcasting. Your voice is made to podcast. Your breathing system isn't, but your, your mind and your throat are. Um, no harm, no foul on the snorting for the last seven months. But um, the, thing, the, thing the I reason, hear often, the thing the I hear reason often, that I feel so good yeah. right now is because this is the last job of 2020 and I can finally wipe my fucking ass of this stupid fucking year. And Jason actually gave good notes that are comprehensive, that yeah. are, are up to par, are, are a great launching pod pad for me and my best friend, Alex Tutone Erdman, to have a great podcast. And it took a year to get here. And, I, and, and I'm just excited to see what's going to come from 2021. Well, here's the thing about 2021 that I like to think about often. And here's what it is. Uh, everyone's talking about 21. It's just like when you're in a failed relationship and what you decide to do instead of parting ways and shuffling the mortal coil of that, of that interaction, the, the, this is, this is, it's like when you're in a failed relationship and you say, you know what, let's put a baby on top of this. Let's have a baby and then I'll fix everything. So everybody thinks that 2020, a door is going to close and then 21, a new door is going to open and it's going to be a new year. But guess what? We're rolling over, baby. 2020 is, is really, 2021 is really 20, 2021 is 2020 part 20, 20 two. And a half. Yeah, it's 20, 21 Three is 2020 part two. Three men and a baby. And thank you. I, two interruptions so far. I'm keeping a counter here. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that, um, I got to say that it took us this long of podcasting for you to finally show up present. The, the the look on your face, it's it's just like you're just it looks like you're serene. You're looking out at a lake. You're going to skip some rocks and you're ready. You came here ready to fucking work today. You're reading notes. I mean, we I got to say, we all came together on this event, which is the last podcast of the year. This PDF is 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 mind boggling. I mean, the amount of work <gasps> Jason put into this. I can't tell you if it's good, but I know that there's a lot of work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He gave us a launch pad. I think that Jason, once again, has yeah. done his work. And is his work good enough? And I think like that's the thing that I'm really excited to look into and to kind of show, you know, he wore his he wore his our our favorite shirt um today. He blessed us with his favorite shirt. Um he's got he's got piercings on it. There's rubber decals of the of the the thorn. Um, the thorn cross. Can I get a weight on this mic stand? Um, you know, just me. I'm interrupting myself to make business happen. 
he, he's wearing our, fa- our favorite shirt. Uh, it's been on the show before. We've always known, always seen, always critiqued Jason's outfits. And, and, and it's just a classic, uh, a classic tee. You know, one that here's, is rare, actually. Here's the thing about the shirt, okay? And the thing is, here's the thing about the shirt. I'm going to say two things. Mm. Here's the thing about the shirt. One is, if I don't interrupt you, I'll never get to talk. So you got to, you just, you got to like, you got to let me in. You talk hey. way more than me on the podcast. It's not probably. true. Two, that shirt is so dumb that it's not even, it's post funny. It's not even funny anymore. It's not even it's funny. Post. It's not, it's like, it's so dumb that it's not even like, it goes so far past the mark of it being even, it's not even fun. It's just sad now. When I see the shirt, I actually become a little sad. Like the first time I saw it, I was like, okay, he's wearing this shirt so I can, so I have something to, to bite onto when we were doing this in real life. And now when I see the shirt, I just get sad and I go, that shirt has a piercing on it and he actually paid money for it. And it was probably funny to him and to um, his magician and army friends, but to us, a couple of sophisticants, a couple of, of, of well-dressed, well-heeled fashionistas, uh, that shirt is just, it's beyond, it's not even, it's not even ironic anymore. It's just horrible. It's a nightmare. It's, it is. That's 2020 in a shirt. <laughs> His shirt is 2020. Oh, that's so mean. See, I, I see with the mood that I'm in today, I want to yeah. be like, Jason, that shirt's incredible. It, it, it's the lifeblood. That shirt is, a, I don't think that shirt is a representation of 2020. I think that re- shirt is a representation of powerful truth angels. Look yeah. at that fucking what is that? An eyebrow? Your Treasure Island, Las Vegas. You psychopath. Did you buy that in Las Vegas? Yes. You're nodding. When were you in Las Vegas? I worked there all last year. You worked at the Treasure Island gift store in Las Vegas, Nevada. No, I worked for Shinbun's Guys, don't guys, don't do this. Don't force this. Don't. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this shirt. Let's move on. Okay. It's, it's horse shit. It's stupid. It's Let's stupid. I agree with you too, Tone. Let's get into I PDF. agree with you. The shirt bit is stupid. That is a perfect example of 2020. This this whole, that was a perfect example. We tried to do a bit on a shirt and it didn't work. That was 2020. We tried we tried something. We had to pivot. 2020 was about learning how to pivot. Um, there's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of, you know, born and raised, almost fell to the ground. All Phoenix, beyond Phoenix. 15,000 Phoenixes. Power, born and raised turned into uh, my career completely decimated completely canceled completely fell off the face of the earth i had zero jobs lined up and i had to phoenix up and 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 open a multiple restaurants new york times best-selling book yada 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 massive amount of successes and and the thing about me and you alex we're survivors we're survivors well, the, the fear i remember I remember when all this shit hit and the fear that set in, right, on your side and on my side and the panic and the expectations were um, w- like the expectations got so low, which was like, well, now what am I do I need to get uh, two roommates and share an apartment and do I need to scale down? I move into downtown L.A. Yeah. Like what? Like I, my expectations, like, can I can I make half of the money I was making before? Uh, you're just like, I don't know what I'm going to do. All my appearances are gone. I can't hit the road. Everyone panicked. And everyone that was in the position that we're in, which is like, we're, our, we're business people and entrepreneurial people. Uh, we all had to reset, pivot and think about it and figure out what's our next plan of attack. And, uh, you know, yeah, we're fortunate. We're very, very mm. fortunate in that we were able to pivot, change things and adapt to what's going on because we are the guys that had to make those choices, right? Uh, but there's a lot of people we, we, that... Yeah, like I think, uh, like no bullshit. And, and it's one of those things where we are our own business, right? Yeah. And and I think it, it, it's those moments are, um, you know, I had nothing. Literally, I lost an entire year. Yeah. And I had to literally be like, I lost an entire year of... of uh, touring of appearances of all the whatever influence type things I do, right? To be honest, to say the word influence, I guess, or whatever the fuck I am. Marty, Marty and didn't happen. 
yeah and 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 i i you know within that i had to learn how to like i couldn't even shoot my show i couldn't do anything i had to figure out how to sh- make content i had to figure out all this stuff at the exact same time too you know started therapy calm Calm is so amazing. Like, you know, when you want to be calm and you want to just have those moments to think about everything going on, calm's there for you. One of the most powerful ways to improve your overall health and happiness is to get a good night's sleep. But if your daily routine has changed, it can be harder to fall and stay asleep. That's why we're excited to partner with Calm. The app's designed to help you ease stress and get the best sleep of your life. Did you know that, Alex? No, and the thing about sleep is it's really important because sleep is the cousin of death and death is the cousin of sleep. And if you have cousins having sleep together, you got to sleep with your death. So here's the thing. You got to keep it calm. You got to get to sleep. You got to get your fucking, you got to recharge your battery, man. You want to do all the stuff that we do. You want to keep it running and gunning, moving and grooving and smoothing. This is Wolfman Jack and you got to get your sleep. So anyways, you got to get your sleep. And when you feel, when you get to sleep, you get to recharge and you get to start. Every day is a new day. And uh, when you leave anxiety, improve your sleep, you feel better in every part of your life. Calm has a whole library of programs designed for healthy sleep, like soundscapes, guided meditations, over 100 sleep stories narrated by soothing voices like Stephen Fry, Kelly Rowland, and Laura Dern. Get the Calm app and experience a transformation in the way you sleep. For the listeners of the show, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash PTA. That's 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library and new content is added every week. Get started at calm.com slash PTA. That's calm.com PTA. Yeah, so the biggest thing for me was how to build. um, I switched with my entrepreneurial brain and my my like kind of like i can't uh my little brain it's small it's like small my my penis is this and my brain like they're the same my, size my it's entrepreneurial a- my entrepreneurial brain <laughs> which you know tell your shrink about this that when you talk about your brain you went like this and she'll tell you about <laughs> Freudian slips and all the all that kind of you know and also give your boy gary v a call because he'll scold you for that for that little slip what? up you did why? My, because my, my entrepreneurial so brain. You know, my wife. My wife loves my penis. <laughs> <laughs> so my brain, my entrepreneurial brain, had to kick yeah. in, yeah. and I went from chasing money or waiting, playing defense. Right. Yeah. So I went from playing defense my yeah. career, where yeah. I would just sit back and people would call me and be like, "Hey, I need you to come to Australia and do this burger thing. Hey, I need you to do this. Hey, I need you to come here." And then I would just go wherever the money would take me, and I flew all over the world and did stuff. And Blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, I was like, all that's gone. Now, I have to be offensive and create a world that can, um, you know, take care of my family. And um, it was a a wild ride to be able to take everything and put it into action and execute. And uh, and, and 2020 was a fucking beyond, you know, even spiraling to a point where... um, you know, I, I to starting actual therapy to go to therapy was such a w- wild thing for me because I like I didn't even fight it. I just was just like my ego was so massive in that sense that I was just like I'm good. Like constantly just being like, no, I'm good. This is this is how I feel because of like the pressure I put on myself, not from the world or anything else. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, I I, I feel nauseous for weeks. I can't think. My head is like crushed, and I was just like. You know, getting into therapy is probably one of the best things that obviously ever happens to a lot of people. But Do you know like for- how much soup I bought? How much soup did I buy in 2020? How much How much soup can you have? I went, I remember when this shit first hit, okay, I went into panic mode. Before this shit got locked down, there was a day when I just was like leaving the office and it was like March-ish, February, March. And I went in there with those Ikea bags and I just bought everything in the supermarket. And not only was I buying everything, everyone, it was a rush. There was a rush on the supermarket. I got in early. I got all this stuff. And then everything for me after that was about collecting food, right? I ordered, I ordered this bone broth soup from this company. I still have cases of it in my kitchen. I have like rows mm-hmm. and rows of this bone broth soup. And I have, and I have cupboards full of brown rice and beans because the supply chain is rations. rations. The supply chain is going to go down. We're not going to have access to food. And I envision myself eating brown rice and, and random beans for months and waiting, you know, and like I'm going to have to drink toilet water. None of that happened. As a matter of fact, 
The supply chains didn't go down. As a matter of fact, the food delivery services went crazy. More food became available. And, you know, we all, we all like, look, it's, it's fucking hustle mania, right? Like everyone started hustling. Everyone started doing more shit. And whoever, it was either you hustled, you collected EDD, or you scammed EDD. And those are the three things people did. And all those three people were doing well. I remember friends of mine, they were on the ED. They're like, this shit rules, man. I don't, I don't even want to work. Like, like if, you, you know, if you're not making much money, all of a sudden you're getting su- such and such amount of, a month, they were fucking loving it until they cut that shit off. And now they're like, all right, America, here's 600 bucks. So, you know, our country takes care of us. They love us. I know that uh, I know that you Canadians are also taking care of your people and uh, not as well as we take care of ours because we our country loves its citizens. And, Mm. uh, you know, we're like Mm. any other any other um, any other third world country. We just get a, you know, a nice little chunk of cash and we can't go outside and it's nice. You know, we can we can get as much pizza as we want and uh, we're all going to die. Should we get to the. Yeah, it's a I think you're all going to I think Americans are just it's a wrap. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've had such a good run. I don't, you know, I hate, I'd hate for it to like, you know, I don't want it's to. It's over. Up Is it over? Watch. I mean, dude, we're just a waning. We're definitely a waning superpower. I mean, it's like, you know, we, we've been fucking on the skids for a while, and everyone, you know, it's just a cash grab. Do you think Canada is going to take over America? No, Canada's not going to take over America, but. Um, you know, the only thing we have left is that we have a great, you know, we're still a you know, military industrial complex and we have bases around the world and we'll still blow everyone to shit, you know, when it comes down to it. So that's the one thing we have left is that, you know, we'll just, we'll just start, you know, we'll just go to war, which is like, we love that shit. You know, that's more money for us anyway. So it's a, it's a, it's a great, you know, I, 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 listen, there's never been a time where I wanted to more be from another place. Like I would love to go retreat to Canada and live in a fucking barn. Like that's my dream. Why can't you come? Why can't you come? Why don't you just come? What am I doing? I'm going to change. I'm going to uproot everything and run my company from Canada. Work on the farm. Work on the farm. And then you just become, zoom. Become your migrant worker. <laughs> yeah. No. You love that. Just, yeah. No, two-tone. It's fine. You just come over. I'll pay for your flight. You can yeah. you can pay me back through labor. Um, It's fine. See you soon. Yeah. It's fine. Right. Just, yeah. Fine. Just have a little... It, <laughs> Nothing would make you happier than to actually crush the life out of me, and then and then and then you force me to podcast, but like it's just a food podcast, and yeah. you actually like bring in another guest, and I'm like I'm the third guy now, and like you literally like make me talk about like olives, and yeah. and fresh made pasta. Um, it's my my dream. It's like I'm I'm just been like spiritually beating you down for a year, hopefully. Yeah. And then finally, you're like, fine, Maddie, I'll move to Canada, I'll work yeah. your land, and yeah. I'll podcast. And and I'll be your actual sidekick, and you can bring in like all these amazing top level, world renowned chefs. And you and and then uh, that's exactly what Powerful Truth Angels. When I when I was sitting there, when we when we were sitting at Sugarfish, that was what really sparked. I was like, this is going to be about a two year process of really beating down two tone to get him to come work. This is like a like a, a movie, you know. I'm, I've been like slowly. Getting you to come work my land. You're just like you're just like a Machiavellian marshmallow man. You're just like slowly plotting, you yeah. know, t- just t- just tweaking the edges, tweaking, dropping things, threatening to leave, don't you know, coming up and not doing your job, just slowly beating me into a corner. And the thing yeah. about me is that eventually I will I will completely become deranged and snap. And I just I'm just like a I'm like a caged Wolverine. You know, yeah, you back you, me in the you corner like take one of my like children and you just like snap its back and you just like throw it. You like, you know, you've had enough. You're like picking rutabagas out of our <laughs> organic farm. And you're like, no more. And yeah. You just grab the closest child. You like snap its back and you just you run back to L.A. the whole way. I mean, there is there is like a current of a blinding rage that lives inside me, which I experience sometimes when I'm like losing at cards and and I feel it. And I get this feeling when I lose where I'm like. There's a moment, there's like a, there's like a three minute mo- cliff where anything is possible. If I stand up, if I stand up right now, anything could happen. I could, I could break all the windows out of my house. I could throw the microwave on top of the car, or I could just start punching myself in the face. So I just sit there very calmly and mm. just relax and let it wash over me. You know, put the tongue it... on the top of the mouth. What is that? Is that some mnemonic? Um... Don't you, when you meditate, when you meditate, don't you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth? No, I don't do that. That's like the big, that's really that dude. Try medit- yeah. you. That's the secret. Okay. So you're, a th- you're like a throat singing meditator. You're, oh, 
No, you don't do it. You just put it there and you close your mouth and just put your tongue on the roof of your mouth and it connects your body in a way that you've never felt before. I'll give it a shot next time. Um, so let's get into this fucking PDF, man. Um, yeah, we got a PDF. So that was our warm up small talk. So we're going through the intro. Um, <laughs> and then and then uh, this is the New Year's. The year's over. We like 2020 is a wash. We got Trump. Trump is. Trump's out. We got Biden in. Back to polite racist. No, 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 no. Trump's not out yet, so it ain't over till he fucking walks, right? And he's this guy. He is. I gotta give it to this fucking mollusk. He's amazing. He is. He. He will. He is. He will never ever stop fighting. He'll never give up. He is like his brain. He is like a Terminator. It, unfortunately, his his Terminator brain is housed in like the worst fucking thing, like the worst mm-hmm. shell. It's the most disgusting, decrepit shell. But like his brain is like he's still fighting. I look at. I was at the mechanic the other day, getting the nail pulled out of my tire. I look through the window. They're all watching Fox News, and he's trying to. He's still trying to get them in in, in PA to um to overturn the, the the vote. Like he's still trying. And he's out there trying. He's trying. He's trying to do everything short of a coup, because you know. He do you think he's gonna call his his people to arms to protect him until like it's count? Do you think that's his there last? Was a his last move, the ultimate move, where he's there like, was a, there was "Stand up, let's go." Do there you think he could like at, pull that? A, he would just a, have to say that out loud. I feel like if he was to be like, "Stand up now," with like if he was to fully activate. Yeah. Do you think he? he do you think he'll activate? Here's a problem. While he controls the military, oh my god! As president, because there was talk in the White House about martial law until they fix the vote, right? Martial law, which basically would turn us into like a dictatorship. If he uses martial law and then takes that time to like overthrow the vote, we're just basically going to descend into chaos and it'll be rioting. And the, this time, this time around, the martial law they'll start shooting people because now it's just going to be on. So like. He, you know, the crazy thing is to save his ass, like he'll do anything. Like he's, he's, I heard this thing on the news on the New York Times uh, podcast where he was, he's trying to do this thing or he might do this thing. They're saying he might do this thing where he pre pardons people. So basically what that is, is like a get out of jail free card where you basically like for whatever crime may happen, you're already pardoned. So he's trying to, they're saying that he's going to establish it to his family. He's going to set it up for his kids and they'll be pre pardoned. So it's just like whatever, you know, whatever's exposed about them, you know, they're just it's just like the most I look, I don't know. <laughs> like I, I, I don't even know what's going on. I really don't even look at the news. I was at my buddy's house and he had yeah. like CNN on. It was like the first time I think I saw news on that television in like months and months and months and months. It's so wild. Like if you don't really look into it, it's like you're very like I'm like I live, I guess, maybe an ignorant life to American politics. But it's yeah. also at the same time, it's like it, it, it's so crazy how how much is still going on, right? Like it's every day Trump is pinning people against each other and trying to like win this election. It's so yeah, it's, it's so scary. It's so the scary. whole country. The whole country has moved on, and he's going. He and you know what? It's not. Listen, it's not impossible that he can pull everything he's done has been impossible. That he's done is everything he's done has been unexpected and impossible. He might pull some shit, but the thing here's the fucked up truth is that. It doesn't like Trump is horrible. Here's the thing with Trump. Trump. I don't think there's a huge difference between Trump and Biden. I think that Trump's the way Trump gets it. I think Trump is is. I think that he's willing to sink everything to win for himself personally, and that's probably not a good idea. I think I think that I think on the left, they're just as fucking corrupt and fucked up and trying to, you know, control and do all this weird shit. But I think that they'll keep the status quo moving, whereas Trump is just like. He'll he'll fucking eighty six the whole shit just to make a couple extra ten million dollars or something. He don't give a fuck. It's just Bro, like he's just like a deranged million. Winning. They got six hundred million from the thing. The the and they stole the six hundred million. They gave they gave them a five thousand. I want to say a five thousand page document to read in six hours before they voted on that bill. Five thousand page document. They're just jamming shit in there. They're like, uh, let's what like what, let's just jam as much. Who's as writing can, that bill? Who writes? Who Trump who writes it himself? He types it himself. He gets up. At, he gets on an old timey typewriter and he just bangs away. He's amazing. He's like fucking Hemingway. He just stands up, types it out, and it's perfect. He doesn't get spell checked. It's just, 
it's, it's just like it just says Trump, 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 money, 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 money. It's like the it's like the shining. Murder, murder, red rum, red rum. Um. So yeah, you know that's Trump. I mean, look, we he's. He takes up a lot of space. You know, I think what he wants, he gets. He takes up space in everyone's head. And, uh, you know, he gets to be the big, uh, he's the big muckety muck, big baby fucking man. And, you know, he, he crushed it. He, he exposed the truth about, um, about tanning, about, about tanning booths and about, um, hair, hair. And that those are good things to, to do. And having, having and he nice... really, I think it's just like that whole thing where like anybody could be, Amer- uh, you know, the president of America. He like really hit that home, you know. Yeah, at this point. So I mean, who's next? Like you know, I think like I feel like Trump is probably not even the most. It's probably not the worst thing that's gonna happen. It'll just be like somebody like The Rock is gonna get elected, and we're gonna be like everyone's gonna be dancing in the streets, and he's just like day one, he's just gonna clamp down. He's like, <laughs> he just he's like he finally just, he's like everyone needs to do five hundred sit ups a day, or we kill yeah. you. He's it's like, like a it's fitness, like a full a like he does a week thing. It's just like yeah. he, he's just like, oh, that's so cool. He's like, if you don't want to take care of yourself, then like you're not part of the human race. Like yeah. we need to kill he's you. Like, we need to like it, it's fully like everyone's like it's so sick. We're like everyone gets a movie deal. Yeah. Everyone gets to fly on his own private jet, and then all of a sudden he's just like, yeah, this is great. So everybody has to do a five hour workout every single day. Yeah. If you don't do your reps. You 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 get tased in the neck. Yeah. You know, like it, it's just you're dead. Like first day, they're like what, and they're like oh, outside of your house. There is a box. It's like airdrop. It's full of like kettlebells yeah. and like fucking just like kettlebells, <laughs> Every uh, bands, rubber yeah. bands, yeah. all these things. There's like yeah. a hypervolt fucking massage gun. It's everything, and then yeah. it's just like literally just like bags of granola. And they're just like now is the time, and we're gonna get but this. We're gonna get this world back on track. We're gonna get this world back on track. Juice, this is what it's gonna take. We're gonna lose ten yeah. percent. Maybe fifty percent, but the fifty yeah. remaining are gonna be specimens. You're gonna be like me. We're gonna be yeah. perfect. We're gonna Spartans. be strong. We're gonna yeah. be loving individuals. Yeah. Except no, we're gonna have to lose like half of the world. We're gonna yeah. have to lose half of it. But like, but, but it, it's it's uh, everyone's gonna be fit. He's like the Thanos. He's like the Thanos of fitness. He gets in there, and mm. you know he drops off the kit. And the thing that he doesn't give you is you don't get the juice, right? You don't get the you don't get the HGH. You don't get the no. uh, the natural the natural testosterone. You don't get any of that stuff. And he does expect you to do what he does. And he's just like the minute, like he's all smiles, he's love. Hey, brother, come on, boom, boom. And the minute he gets in there, it's just like, okay, guess what? We're all fucking working out all the time. Everyone works out. This is how we get it. Dude, ahead. who's Fuck his vice economy. president? Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, of course, Mark Wahlberg. You know, like, hey, fu- get up. Listen, listen, guy, you gotta get up at one in the morning, and start working out. That's what I do. You know. Come on, man. All of a sudden, there's sirens. There's sirens every five blocks. Woo! You know? And all of a sudden, it's like, wake up. You got to have your snack. You got to pray. You got to pray to God. Oh, no. You got to pray for for 90 minutes. And then you got to do a thousand sit-ups. And then you go back to bed. And then, woo, 4 a.m., then we start our day. You know? To be honest, personally, I know you don't. I know Mm. you think I'm full of shit. I would actually like that. I would like to just be... Just make me work out at gunpoint, and 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 I don't have any other responsibility. And I'll just work out and live in a cube. At least I'll feel good, and I'll be in great shape, and you know, and I'll fuck better. You know what I mean? And that's that's cool. And I have those three things, and you know, I don't need all this like art. You know, art. I don't need art. I don't need to be creative. Just give me, make me do push-ups. Let me get ripped. Give me a little mirror to see my abs in, and give me just like my my food, my 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 staple foods. And my kettlebells, and I'll just live that. I'll just get buff, and that's it. And then one day, throw me. The, the ultimate thing is one day, you know, with the rock achieves, he'll he'll deescalate all the nuclear tension because he has a master plan. He's going to deescalate all the nuclear, all the armaments. We all go back to a pre a pre weapon civilization, and then we're just fighting bare knuckle. And he's breeding. And Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's what? Secretary of State. Kevin Hart's Secretary of State. Mark Wahlberg is Vice President. Um, uh, the Rock is a president, and uh, I feel like The Rock could be a couple people on the team too. Like he would take like a couple jobs. I feel like he would be president, but then he would also be like uh, Department of Transportation, maybe, and he would be, yeah. uh, you know, I bet he's got agriculture. Good ideas, like, he do agriculture. Board. Yeah, I feel like there's something about The Rock too that we don't have to worry about sexual scandals because there's something very unsexual about him because he's just made a 
he's he's post sex, right? It's just muscle and yeah, positive I don't think, vibes. I don't think he's out there like Trumpy. Trumpy's doing like the pee pee party in the private, yeah, you know, yeah. like he's he's kind of living the same life that I wish I could. But it's just yeah. like, um, you know, I think I think I, I think I hope that The Rock is one of the good ones, and he's just he doesn't have time. It's not his schedule. Like no, when that, he, like yeah. he, when does he get released? He gets he's released like, like a like a. Like um, you know, like when does he get released? You no, know? he gets he gets it. He get he's like a Japanese person. Like they just become asexual, and he just like the way the Rock deals with it is he works himself out so much, and it, he has to he has to ejaculate, but he just hooks up. They hook up a machine, and they pull. They just do, you know, and he's, he's he doing probably, something else he's, while he's, doing, he's getting ejaculated. Yeah, he's doing he's doing curls and presses, and it's just like he's like get it, get the shit out of me, brother. Like get the come out, get the poison out, so I can keep you know. Manifesting because it makes you crazy. It makes you crazy it makes when, you you crazy, when you're yeah. full. Come is no good. Um, what? What a show! I mean, listen, we're futurists. That's the thing about the Powerful Truth Angels is a is a political futurist podcast, and uh, you know, and we we can kind of we've dictated not we we we've you heard it here everything. first, people. What? You heard it here first. You heard it here. Powerful first. Truth Angels. We've never been wrong. I'm not we literally zero zero wrongs and zero lies and one hundred percent truths, facts only on the 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 powerful truth angels uh podcast and and that's what we promised from the beginning. Uh it's a podcast for buddies without buddies for buddies. Look at his hat. Look at his LA hat. It looks like someone you just like that, eh? Press it in. One. Little trucker hat. I I wore the 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 my hunting hat for you. My two, my uh my my orange camo. Um, I mean my orange, orange safety camo. hat. A, I know. It's a blaze. Know. It's a hunter blaze color. It's a hunter blaze. Yeah. So this is so when I'm out in the field, pe- color blind, color blind people can't see me, right? Or no, it's so hunt. It's so hunter. Well, you still see your physical space. They would still see you. It's so if you if you can only see the color orange. Then all you see is a beanie floating around. And then if you're a deer, you're like, there's a, just a hat. What's going on? And then bam, I just fucking smoke you. You would never be able to do that. Manny, have you ever hunted? Yeah. What okay. do you mean? What do you mean? What are you I kidding mean? me? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? I'm like, what have you never hunted? seen my shows Dead Center Life? I've hunted so many times. I've been really? in Tundra. I've hunted seal on like you literally an ice glacier on the top of the earth. You shot a seal? I've, no, we went seal hunting. Dude, we went out on a glacier um, in, uh, out in Nikaliwit and up in, in, in Nunavut. And um, Nunavut. I was out there for like eight hours on a fucking skidoo with a fucking rifle on my back covered in seal fur. I, they gave me like a seal fur outfit to stay warm because my stuff wasn't warm enough. So they gave me like their seal fur coats. Who were they? People on the show, I forget their names, to be honest. It was years ago. It was years ago. Were they were they part of another group of people that wasn't your group of people? They were what do you mean? They're Inuit? They were Inuit? Yeah. <laughs> they were Inuits? Is that what no. I just wanna I just wanna I was watch surrounded I was surrounded by these Inuits and they'd taken me sea hunting. Yeah. I just want to watch you stumble through that. Oh, shit. What um, do you mean? They? I just said they. I'm just like, I forget their names. No, I'm just curious. Um, I got a question. It's years ago. I go hunting all the time. I've been moose hunting, seal hunting. You hunting shot a moose? Deer. You shot a moose? Yeah, bro. There's uh, in Newfoundland, Q- Cumin, Cumin, QQ, the Q man, Cumin. He shot a Mark moose. Cuban. It's crazy. We went hunting. Dude, we went hunting in like... We drove in into like the interior, like five hundred kilometers into the interior of, of central Newfoundland, where there's nobody, nobody for like five hundred kilometers. What? And and um, wait, how so long we did drove, you drive that deep? That's like uh, like six seven hours. Oh my god, dude! So we drove like six seven hours into the middle of 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 Newfoundland, where it's just like there's nobody, literally nobody for. Literally five, six. There's just like like and weird dirt roads. Yeah, it's all like, dude. It's like, uh, yeah, gravel, gravel roads and service roads and log logging. It's all like logging roads, and um, and we get out to like the middle, and it's just like mountains and stuff. And we go hunting with this legendary hunter, 
um, and Tracker, and it's so crazy. You get to like the dude, it's crazy. There's, you can watch it on Dead Sound Life, but it's like me and Rang, me and Rang go hunting, and we're with this guy, and we get out to this mountain range, and we're like dead quiet, and the guy just starts doing moose noises, and this guy literally is communicating with a like a female moose like miles away through like this open air. And he's like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden <laughs> you hear like, uh, and it's just like, moose dick. And, and literally he taught and it took hours for this moose to come across our trail. And when it came, it was a female and he knew that it was a female, but we couldn't get it because we had a tag for um, whatever, a, a male or whatever. But it was like one of the wildest things. And then we were out there for, we were out there for 18 hours. We were out hunting for like 18 hours. And, and when we're, we're like, okay, it's over. Like, we're good. We shot it. We shot like, you know, we're excited. We're hunting. We're not hunting. We're depressed. It's like, it's snowing. It's not snowing. It's, we're in the middle of a mountain. We got, we got, I think rang, like, I think even like licked like deer poop or something to taste it, to see if it was fresh. And, um, you know, and then we're like, literally we're leaving. We got to the point where we're like, okay, fuck, that's hunting. Sometimes you catch a moose, sometimes you don't. And we're leaving. And all of a sudden we hear, and, and, and Cumin and, and, and uh, Jeremy, Charles, who's a chef, they're both chefs from Newfoundland. They're driving. And, and all of a sudden we hear like the fucking, a gunshot. And on all our walkie talkies, they're like, a moose literally just walked in front of us. And we shot it like outside of the fucking, like he pulled out, stepped outside of the thing and like shot a moose. And then we like field dressed it. And like, we helped like, you know, like cut its fucking asshole open and you pull out everything and you cut out the heart. You have to field dress it right away to take everything out. So you literally cut their asshole out and pull everything out of their asshole. What? Yeah. Why do you do that? So then it doesn't, nothing spoils, right? So then the meat, you have to take out all the, the liver and the spleen and the lungs and everything else so that it doesn't like leak and, and, and then that would go into the meat and everything. So you have to bleed it out. You bleed it out, then you field dress it and you have to like literally cut its like balls and everything off, cut out the asshole, pull out the asshole, pull out all of this stuff. It's all on the show. Like we shot it beautifully. It's like you're holding like, we're, we're holding, you know, it's, it's like warm heart. And um, we ate that that night with uh, some bone marrow. And, is that good? Uh, it's incredible. Dude, it's, it it's like stuff that you've never had. Come on. Uh, I mean, come on. Is it yeah, really just good? like is raw like, moose is, heart? No, I mean, is it actually good or is it kind of like tough and stringy and gamey? No, is like moose, actually, is like, moose is incredible. Moose moose is like um, moose is like top, top, top meat. Then why moose, don't more people moose, eat moose? Moose is top meat. Horse is incredible. Um, I don't know. A lot of people eat like in in Newfoundland. They eat it like it's like going out of style. Wow. Did you feel when you when you did that? Did you feel this like sense of like like the, did you feel the murder lust of like stripping an animal and like taking all? No, the it's out? intense. When you do real shit, it, yeah. like it's intense. Like I've slaughtered a lamb before, like a hundred and forty pound lamb, like slit its throat, bled it out. Yeah. After catch, like you know, it's um, it's very intense to hold an animal and take its life, and like, it's very intense. But I think it's just like Did as cliche as it sounds. As a chef who has served a lot of dead animals, it's one of those things that you kind of really have to understand um, what it takes to do that and to take a life and to to um, you know, it's 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 heavy, man. It's a hundred forty pound you, uh, animal, did- and. Um, it's, it, to take its life, it's wild. Did you like, get a murder boner? Pardon? Pardon? Did you get a murder boner? Yeah, yeah, no, I got murder boners after. I, I took its skin home and, like, wore it. And, like, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I made love to myself that night wearing its warm uh, skin and fur. No, I'm actually, I'm actually being serious. Like, some people get, you know, some people it triggers their nervous Some people get, get murder boners? No, I yeah, didn't get a happens. murder boner. Okay. Thank you, though. Um, did you get a mur- did you get a murder boner when I've never I've when never, you murdered? I've never killed an animal. Uh, I would. Have you yeah. ever? Have you ever? No, I've never hunted. <laughs> You've I've never, never hunted ever. No. When when do I get a hunt in Southern California? I'd have to like go somewhere and 
do that. I just never had. The it's just not part of it, eh? Yeah. What are we looking at, Maddie? You're on your phone. You're playing. You're playing Minecraft. I was just looking up to see if I had uh, the photos on my phone, but I don't. It's on my All old right. phone. Listen, guys. Um, boners. You got to have them. Boners make the world move forward. Yeah. Without boners, there's no human life. Without boners, we would have never invented the car, skyscrapers, and the nuclear missile, or the Washington mm. Monument. A healthy life mm. includes a healthy sex life. If you struggle with mm. erectile dysfunction, you may not feel like your best self. If you want help with ED, Roman connects you with a real U.S. licensed healthcare professional who can prescribe you the medicine you need, and you're going to get that medicine to make your dick so fucking hard that if mm. you throw a marble at it, it'll bounce off your penis and break a window. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. And ED stands for erectile dysfunction. A healthcare mm-hmm. professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. If medication is appropriate, which it is, Roman will ship you real medicine with free two-day shipping. That means within two days, you're going to be so fucking hard that you could fuck a hole through the earth into the core and come into the lava of the earth. Getting started is simple. Just go to roman.com slash PTA and complete the online visit. Erectile dysfunction used to be tough talk, and now there's Roman. Complete an online visit today to connect with a doctor and take care of it. Just go to roman.com slash PTA to get $15 off your first order of ED treatment a free online visit, and a free two-day shipping. That's GetRoman.com slash PTA for $15 off your first order of ED treatment. GetRoman.com slash PTA. Let's get into this. Um, let's run through this year, and let's do rapid fire. Let's run through it. So, look, uh, you know, 2020, um, uh, you know, uh, Iran, uh, we almost went to war with Iran. Then Australia caught on fire. Uh, Venice flooded, which has been flooding, and China, China, um, China, China had this sick. thing. China had this thing where people started getting some weird flu, and that was in January. And where I was, I was flying to Chicago to do a job, and uh, I was very stressed out about the job. And um, and then all these things happened. And when I landed back in 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 California, um, the day I landed in the airport, Kobe died like right when I landed. And it was the first instance of uh, this flu that happened in Chicago the first time. And I was like, this is weird. And I had a scarf wrapped on my face in the plane and no one really cared, except for I saw an Asian man and he had a mask on. And I remember looking at him. He had a mask that was taped to his face and a mask over that mask. And I looked at this man and I said, this dude knows some shit. I don't know. And, uh, you know, and then soon after that, we just uh, went headlong into... Uh, a really cool um, era of, of, you know, we covered the whole thing of what we did when the shit hit, um, you know. Well, uh, it, 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 the thing about it that I think a lot of people aren't really understanding and a lot of people are like, like we're, we're in the middle of like a war that isn't really, um, it's extremely physical, but it's like a virus. A lot of people, like there's more people that have died from coronavirus, I believe now, than World War II, right? Really? I think so. Like, that's what I mean, my dad said. One, he's like, it's, it's so scary to think about. And he's like, it's going to take a couple of years for it even to, for people to start understanding. But it's like more people have died from um, COVID and Corona uh, than uh, I believe it's around the same amount of, of, of people, I believe. I yeah, could be one, wrong. One person every um, 20 minutes in L.A. is dropping dead every 20 minutes one person so dude it's crazy my, like i said like didn't i say this on the last part? like uh, my buddy who works at the hospital yeah yeah we covered we covered that in whittier and the body bags like so yeah it's so scary it's, it's fucked it's worldwide but in our respective countries it's like probably like one people yeah there you go so then you know uh january 27th is the first episode of pta getting filmed which is mind-boggling to me um that you know what Right when this shit hit, we started a podcast. Like we, and the thing is that you and I did about ten podcasts, just you and I, with no film, and mm. uh, and we have those somewhere in a vault. And one day we're gonna release those. There's some really wonderful episodes. They're audio. I think they're great episodes. We're great gonna have episodes. to re-listen to them though. I think a few things have changed. A few you know, things have changed. Uh, a few yeah. things have changed. You're gonna have. Then. You have so, to check. You have to check your woke privilege and make sure you, you edit out. Well, I just need to see where I'm at on the scale. I just need to see where I need to check in and see where I'm at. So episode Two episode times. one filmed. Uh, 
we had the painting episode, which is like, you know, for us being together, uh, doing things uh, together. That was a lot of fun. I had fun. I got to paint. We painted each other. We did portraits. And uh, I'm going to say that we never <laughs> we never mailed those paintings out because the pandemic hit. I never those paintings are still in my closet. I never mailed them. Are out they supposed to go to somebody? Yeah, Does somebody win to... them? Did we do a uh, contest? Yeah, we did a contest and somebody won them and it's so buried <laughs> and shit went so fast that like there's he's cool. I mean, do you, <laughs> Jason, do you want to send him those paintings? You you messaged him the other day. Logistically How did crazy. you did you have like an email saved? How did you find that person? Deep DMs. So, anyways, uh, he what? Sorry, uh, we had such. Okay. We had this is what happened, food. man. Powerful we Truth had, Angels are thieves. We had our we oh had our God. first. Uh, I had my first Szechuan with you and uh, Andrea, and that was when the show we had this whole thing with the show where I was getting my hair done, and Andrea was the art director. It was complete fucking chaos. Look it was my a hair. lot of fun. My hair was dyed. I yeah. still have not cut my hair since. This is Powerful Truth Angels right here. I'm so afraid to cut it because I think this is like what's really holding Powerful Truth Angels. Together, like look at this hair. Right, you're not. I'm cutting it when I see you. I'm going to give you the best haircut you've ever had in your life. And you're going to look like it. you're going to look not. like a, you're going to look like a character out of Star Wars. That's it. You're going to look like Anakin Skywalker and and uh, one of those fucking uh, goblin frog dudes together. That's what you're the gonna the look like. the. This hair is as much yours as it is mine. I want you to know that, Alex. Yeah, like this hair I mean, is powerful. Truth Angel's hair. This blonde. You know the, the like the rat tail potential. If I imagine if I just shaved my head and then just keep that fucking rat tail, really bring that rat tail to where we need to bring it, or like a couple rat tails, a couple sporadic rat tails. I mean, you've really you've really gone above and beyond in the hair department. Whereas I just I've kept it high and tight. And, you know, I still I never grew my shit out because I can, I'm not willing to grow my hair out to be the fodder. You know, like you're, you're, you live, you live your art and I don't, and I have, I, I can't live my art like you do. I mean, I can't do it. I can't, I like to grow. Listen, growing, we talked about this in speaks. Growing your hair long is so fun just to get to comb it, just to fucking play with it for me, combing it and playing with it. And in my mind, I look like the sickest Lorenzo Lamas, Antonio Banderas, oh. just ill. Like I look amazing, but in reality, I'll give you some pics, Jason. I look like shit with long hair. I look really fucking Dude. weird. The other day, Trisha literally looked at me and she's like, so what are you doing with your hair? Right. She's like, you know, I have to live with you. What am I doing? Like, I was just like, what do you mean? What am I doing? She's like, I have to look at you every day. I was like, Trisha, this is, this is the, this is the podcast's hair. And until I'm rejoined with my podcast partner, Alex Two-Tone Erdman, this hair grows. This hair grows. Nobody touches it unless it's Alex, unless I'm on the set, Powerful Truth Angels, truly. Nobody touches this hair. This hair is what yeah. keeps us strong. This hair is what is the bridge of, of unity between me and you. Imagine if I just showed up one pod and my hair was cut. Wouldn't you feel kind of slighted? Wouldn't you feel like, like I hey. Would, I would think you were a liar and you weren't a man of your word, which I value. But that, you know, I can't say that you're not a man of your word. I'd hate to take that I, away from I'm, you. Because I, that's all I have. That's all we have. All you have is your balls and your words. H my Horatio balls are small, Scarface. so my words need to be very big. So then we go to March, uh, where all the celebrities got together. And Wait, we're, I, we're, what about February? You we, missed we don't Bernie. We don't, 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 we don't need to talk about Bernie. We don't. I don't okay, want to get, <laughs> get back in. I don't want to get Bernie back just in the weeds of Bernie, yeah. Bernie's like a Matrix meme. Who cares about Bernie? Yeah, Bernie. Look, Bernie's Bernie. We'll never get to have Bernie. We all want Bernie. We never get to have him. He doesn't fit into the into the structure of what. Dude, what if Bernie was president? I mean, what do you think? We, what do you think in a Bernie world? If we were all living in a Bernie world, honestly, I don't. I don't know, man. Look, I don't. I'm not a fucking socialist. I don't. I believe in capitalism, but I also mm. want healthcare and I want people to be taken care of. And I think that you isn't know, there maybe, a middle ground? Isn't there? Maybe middle? there's like, a middle ground. Maybe yeah. Bernie. Maybe Bernie won't be such a corrupt, fucking horrible piece of shit. These fuckers just keep passing. They just keep passing the child called America between each other and raping it. That's what the. Yeah. That's what these party politicians do. They're just pedophile monsters, and a mm. child. America is an eight-year-old boy. They just keep fucking up the ass, and that's that's what Woo! they fucking do. But let's Woo! not go back there. Let's not go back and look. Let's I'm, I'm let's go back to media. celebrity saving lives. Celebrities, listen. Okay? Their March, 
March was a big was, thing. Let's sing. Let's sing. Imagine. All the celebrities got together and saying imagine, which is just like the most tone deaf horse shit. You know, like I will say that uh, Gal Gadot is very hot, and that's about all I can. Who's say Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot, whatever, whatever her fucking name is. Who's she's that? A, which one's that? One of the glasses. He's Wonder Woman. Who's Wonder Woman? She's she's the Israeli woman who's an actor. Oh. Um, and she she was in that whole thing. You see the lineup with her and like Will Ferrell, and it's she's so obviously. Um, so beautiful compared to those animals. Um, They're acting, but the thing about actors is like it's like is is Matthew McConaughey actually cool or is he just an actor? And like, See, are all these actors are just actors? I feel aren't most actors just actually actors and actually duds as humans? I think some of them are actually cool. Like, I always hear the, <laughs> someone told me a story about Sean Penn being in a restaurant, and uh, and. And someone said, like, Sean Penn was in the restaurant yeah, that their buddy worked at, and he's at the bar smoking. And the guy who up to him, he goes, yo, excuse me, you can't smoke. And Sean Penn looks at him, he goes, I'm Sean Penn. And the guy goes, true, and just walked away. Like, <laughs> so, like you know, you got to, like, or, you know, I talked about this, like, ten times, but I love Sean Penn being the actor's studio where um, they go, where he goes, Sean, when you get to heaven, what will be waiting for you? And he goes, uh two hookers and an eight ball coke and i was like dude just to have the balls to just be like this is what i'm into this is what i'm yeah. like you gotta respect Sean. he might i don't know he well didn't it, didn't you know, what's her face jenny i think my buddy was didn't, didn't, what's her face? jenny 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 from oh. forrest gump that was they were married and then didn't didn't she just like walk in on him with like hookers and coke i mean that's a, that's his thing that's his that's his bag man my friend my other buddy was saying that his I mean, he, I don't know. He probably he doesn't listen to this, but he was saying that his friend, his friend ran into, <laughs> his friend ran into his girlfriend somewhere. He, this, my buddy's friend was with his mom getting lunch. He sees an old girlfriend of his, and it's a girl he dated. Like you know, he hadn't seen her in like six years, and they're you know, and they're like, oh, how are you? What's going on? Oh my god, we got to catch up. Come have dinner with me and my mom. Come have lunch. And she goes, okay, well, I'm meeting my boyfriend. It's Sean Penn. <laughs> <laughs> so they end up having lunch and it's like you imagine it's like it's like having lunch with a fucking alien like you're just like so sean how are you you're like he's like dude come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so what are you up to what are you working on you're writing so yeah, directing you know, i think like what I are think, you doing yeah what's what's your latest uh project are, are you, you writing saving? another movie where you like save a bunch of like african like diamond miners or like yeah like what are you do, what are you working Leo. on you know Look, so to answer your question, I think that the majority of actors are probably kind of like they're probably there's probably not much going on. In, to, to, but isn't it but, doesn't it warm your heart to think that like they honestly all got this connected to, to, <laughs> to connect all of these actors actually so yeah. much work behind that and to 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 make this actually happen and them all just like they do it. They send in that video, you know, they send in that video and they're just like, we fucking did it. Well, you we know that fucking, some of them. We fucking. No, listen. Did it. No one knew. Like everyone's, everyone's panicked. No one knows what to do. Somebody comes with someone that they all respected had this idea, and they're like, "Hey, who uh, started Will, it? Who Will, was the person who like?" Actually, I talked to Will to Will the other day. He said that he started it as a joke. Will did it to fuck mm. with them, and they said, "Well, Will Ferrell's doing it. We're all going to do it." And they all did it. And he's like, "Ah, jokes on you, idiots." I mean, look, I, everyone's trying to scramble to do shit, but you know, actors they live in a different rarefied air. And I will say this. There are some definitely cool actors and directors who are like actually really cool people who are like are cool probably outside of that world. But then there's you know you can't tell. Sometimes actors are so good at acting that they act like they're cool. Like sometimes yeah. they're like so good at like they're so good they're like I'm just a normal dude, man. Like I look at my old truck. Like I yeah, live like they're like, a normal like you know <laughs> they're wearing like diesel jeans, like flip flops. Yeah. Just like. Yeah. Just, you know, like they no, no, they go deeper. Like a shirt that like somebody gave them. It's They'll like, go deeper. They'll get like a 1940s truck and and wear like you know pants with dog shit on them and like construction boots and like a you know and a hat. Just be like, I'm just, I just want to be around the people. But you know who's supposed to be? You know who seems to be very cool is uh Keanu Reeves. Like, look, time will tell. Time always reveals who's cool and who isn't. And Keanu Dude. Reeves, after all this time, there's all these things that come up about him just being cool. And you're like, yeah. He's he's like he might he's be always a cool drinking a, like a really healthy smoothie, smoking a cigarette, giving yeah. giving a homeless guy. He money. always looks bummed. You know, he always looks sad. Just, dude, well, that's I the love- thing is like they're so rich. <laughs> they're genuinely so rich, and, the, rich. and and I feel like 
they work like a couple months a year and then they're just rich. I feel like, do you think George Clooney's nice? He gave away the the, the 14 million to his 14 best buddies. He comes comes off. I feel like he's actually kind of cool. Nacito shot him. We should have Nacito on, I feel. Talk about, he has so many interactions with celebrities. We should do a whole celebrity thing where he just spills beans on every celebrity he's ever shot. He's not going to He won't do that. He won't do that. He's he's a dark horse. He just talked to him. The other day I was like, the other day I was like, (laughs) The other day, I was like, hey, I, I just want to tell you I really like your work. And he was like, uh, uh, okay, man. <laughs> just like, just just totally like, and it was like, I, I just keep seeing his stuff. I'm like, he's really good at his job. And I just thought I'd tell him about it. He just did not know how to deal with that. He's just like, oh, God. Yeah, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> Dude, he's like, I'm going to I Balenciaga. Wish would- Do you want to come with me to Balenciaga? Let's yeah. go. I wish he would. I wish he would spill the beans. But, you know, I think that also like, you know, you look at you look at what De Niro's done, and every time I turn on Apple TV, he's in some show where it's called like he's in some movie called like Silly Grandpa, and he's like a grandpa. You're like, this is Robert De Niro. This is like the fucking guy, right? Like the the most like the heaviest guy in the world is now just doing like movies with kids. Like, he can't, I think he can't stop working. He just is like either that I, or I you honestly like money. I think there's like even a new one out where it's like the intern grandpa. It's like That's, on Netflix. That was last year, yeah. And, and, and yeah. I literally was looking at it yesterday, um, last night, I think. And uh, all of a sudden, like, it is one of those things where it's just like, I like, it's so weird the fact that, like, I think when I hit a financial point, I really want to dip. Like, I really want to just kind of like live my life and, and, you're never, like, Maddie, you know, you're do never, the things that I just want to do. I just want to, like, kind of chill and do some things and, do some fun stuff. Like, it's like, I don't really want to like, um, like imagine being like in your sixties and uh, like still on set doing like 5am well, lo- calls, he, hair he and makeup. It. He loves it. He loves he either it. He loves he it. Genuinely. He, look, and that's he's, all he, he's like, he can do a Scorsese movie and then three movies about being a grandpa. He either owes, he either owes, he either spends his, like, he's either like buying, like either every time he gets a movie, he just buys another tiny island and like just blows up, uh, you know, <laughs> his just old blows up a, a crate of diamonds, you know, or or he loves doing the work so fucking much that he just is addicted to the work because, yeah, he doesn't he could do anything that he wants to do and he does fucking grandpa movies where he's like the old fucking codger. I'm like, You're I feel Robert like meet, meet, meet the Fockers, Meet the Fockers was the best, like is the only movie that's good as him as like an older. Kind of because maybe he was like a CIA agent, but it's still like he still had juice. It's then, funny, I yeah. Feel. And even like it's when he did the what's the the Gotti movie they just did? No, no, no he. Oh, was that twenty? No, he did the 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 what is it? The painter, the fucking uh, the thing about the unions with uh, not Gotti. It's um, it's Gotti, the, guy, the no, union guy they Gotti. buried. No, John it's not Gotti. Gotti. It's not about John Gotti. It's about what the union John- guy. It's about the guy that the the the, the, the Jimmy Hoffa. It's about Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. Hoff, Hoff bombs. I gotta watch that again. The Irishman. He's the Irishman. He's a national fucking treasure. He can do whatever he wants. I don't care. He can do whatever he wants. The he only thing I was bummed about about that was the CGI face when they put like his young face on his old body. He didn't that make that wild. decision. No, when he's kicking that guy in front of the liquor <laughs> store, he's kicking him like a seventy year old man. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like they could have just put someone else in there to do that. Like, like. There's nothing. Listen, when you look at these motherfuckers in their prime, like you look at De Niro and Harvey Keitel and these mm. guys, they were young Panthers. Like they were fucking. Can you imagine being that guy doing like mm. Goodfellas or Mean Streets and just being that being that young, that full of cum, and that fucking mm. successful and that on the cutting edge? You're just like a like a like. They a were the legend. fullest. They had the most amount of cum. The most sure. amount of cum. They're producing cum. Like constantly. imagine They're that set. Imagine that set. The amount of cum on that set. So much cum. They put a black mm. light on the on the set and it exploded because it's too much it was, cum. It was just white. It was everything turned it white. Was it like, like snow blind. It was like an blind. eclipse. It was it's like an blind. eclipse. They were cum blind. Uh, yeah. So there's a cum eclipse. This- Green Chef, thank you always for uh, sponsoring our podcast. It, it, it's really helpful, and our fans love you. You know, Green Chef is the first USDA certified organic meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well, easy, and affordable with plans to fit every lifestyle. With your keto, your paleo, your vegan, your vegetarian, just looking to eat healthier. There's a range of recipes to suit any diet or performance. Green Chef is the first ever and only keto meal kit on the market. It makes sticking to low carb lifestyles easy with recipes averaging over 14 net carbs each. You know, 
Chefs, green chefs, vegan, vegetarian recipes are high in plant protein and rich in omega-3s. Experts find the following. A plant-based diet decreases the possibility of high blood pressure and boosts your immune system, just like me. Personal experience. Thank you so much. You know, you're not going to get these special dietary meals options anywhere else. Right, Two-Tone? No, that's right, Maddie. Green Chef knows me too well. Let me say this. You've got to try their famous chicken tinga and cilantro light crema. Thanks, Two-Tone. To greenchef.com slash PTA90 and use code PTA90 to get $90 off including free shipping. Once again, go to greenchef.com PTA90 and use code PTA90 to get $90 off including free shipping. Maddie, you know what they say. This is the number one meal kit for eating well. Thank you, Green Chef, for sponsoring our podcast. We love you so much. Good night. We go into the PDF and we go into the Lion King. We don't need to talk. I mean, the Tiger King. Who cares? Tiger <laughs> King, you let him die in jail. I feel like we got to let Tiger King just die in jail. But well, Tiger no, King Carol, like, saved Carol the Baskin. world, but at the same time, he was so horrible. Carol Baskin is a real uh, evil person. The thing about the, the Tiger King thing. Carol Baskin. That- you know what's a perfect example? Check this out. Yeah. Carol Baskin. Fucking Tiger King. Trump and fucking goddamn Biden. Baskin is Biden. Probably. You know, being Most like, likely. Yeah. you're yeah. doing all these bad things. Baskin is Biden. The fucking, he's the true, you know? He's the true, uh, yeah. I mean, I think that the funny thing about the Tiger King thing was it it just, per- listen, man, you know about perfect storms. It was a perfect storm of like, just when shit got locked down, everyone's home panicking, ordering Postmates, fucking Tiger King's on. We mm. all become obsessed. We all become mm. obsessed with shit normally because we're all fucking idiots. And we were like, ah, mm. Tiger King. Everyone became obsessed. It became a, a massive hit because the world's fucking in, in the process of ending. Um, so I Tiger King, it. we'll roll through that. Let's go into May. Uh, I don't even know what this is. It's the guy from Twin This Deep. is the weirdest thing. I think he said, like, yeah. Elon Musk and Grimes named their baby something unpronounceable. Uh, murder hornets arrive. North American soil. You had soil. a murder hornet. You had an actual murder hornet in a ship. I couldn't fucking believe that you had a real murder hornet. Where is it? Did you keep it? We had. Did you cook it up? Dude, it's at the meet and three. It's at the meet and three in a Ziploc bag on a cork board in Bob's office. It's in Bob's office. And we ordered one of our smokers came from. I think it comes from like Georgia. And where did those fuckers go? And then we, we opened up the box and there was a dead murder hornet. And. I think we had some on my property out in the woods too. There were some there were some hornets this summer that were fucking massive. But the murder hornet was easily like half the size of my finger. No, that shit was crazy. Because none of this shit's real. Like until you see it in person, you had one come on to come into your life, and you had a murder. It came hornet in my mouth. Came in your mouth. So then we move on. Um, and uh, was the beginning know. of Karens? Was this the beginning? Ju- June. Brought out the Karens. No, we're in. We're still we're looking in at here. We're, we're still D. in May. We're going to talk Riddle about D. the. Hold on. Answer me hold these on. questions. Three hold else on. I call the cops on the. Oh my hold God. on. Hold on. Hold on. We're still in May. We're talking about. Let's talk about the poker episode. Oh, poker. I think the <laughs> poker episode, uh, you know, I, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know that Two-Tone was such a bad loser. And I didn't know that. Two Tone was not that great at playing poker, and I did. I I, I kind of I underestimated how bad he was at playing poker. So then I was just like, I don't really know how to play this. Maybe I should play like easy on him. I'm learning quickly, and throughout the game, I was learning so quickly that um, you know I just kept on having to dominate you in 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 the in the poker where you love it, you cherish it, you play it often, and then I come in. I don't know what's happening. Uh, you know, is a queen a heart? Is 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 a six a four? I don't know what works. I don't know what the river is. I don't. I don't, I don't know. And somehow, uh, you know, I think maybe just our our general higher power allowed me to dominate you in the in the sacred art of of, of card playing. It, it made for great. It made for great content. Uh, I will say that in the beginning of the game, I really felt bad because I was like this. I felt so superior in my poker skills. And and then before long, you beat me in a couple of hands. I went on tilt. And then at the last hand, I got a pair of aces. Mm-hmm. I remember this. And I was like, I'm fucking back. I'm crushing this man. And at some point, I went all in with the aces. I don't even know if you remember what you had or if you knew what you had. But I think you had like 
You might have had a set or a straight. You can look it up, Jason, and figure it out. And you, you totally dominated me and crushed me. But the thing is this. Your winning style is something that uh, to be frowned upon would be an understatement. The way that you won was so horrible that I would have been well within my rights to to have crippled you for that kind of uh, Yeah, but uh, we all know that you couldn't because we've seen the strength tests. So throughout the season there's, there's, of Yeah, we saw the push-up things, contest. We've seen we the saw, multiple we, strength tests where – the, like, the push up contest? Wanna, like, like, you know, it's just, there's a lot going on. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, meat on the bone over here. You know, there's a lot of, a lot the of, only, lot of gristle, the only strength, a lot of strength, a lot of like really like powerful um, ammo, big bullets over here. We got, the we, only got strength, we got 50 calories. The only, the only strength contest that you beat me in was an arm wrestling contest, but that's a different, that's not a defining way of strength. I beat you in the push up contest like wildly. Uh, you keep threatening me with a race, which is ridiculous. And uh, a foot any, race? Yeah. You know that I would beat you in a foot race, Maddie. You'll die. You Do you think family. if I was to sprint, I would die? Do you think that would like be the burst <laughs> of the bubble? It, it might not be good for you. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it's. What if I it, think, dude? You know what'd be incredible if we <laughs> ran downhill on your street? Like imagine like running downhill. I trip. I fall. I roll. I die. And we get it on tape. Like I. I I oh. want to win, but I don't want. I'm a. I, I hate losing. Number one, and I do want to. You're win. You're not good at it. You're not good I'm not at good, it. I'm, no, good I'm not at a good loser. You're not good at it. I'm not a good loser, and I want to win. And I don't want you to die. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want your your leg to break for some reason. Your your frame is 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 already overloaded. And I don't want my ankles. I need like new ankles. My ankles aren't good. My yeah. ankles are. Yeah. My, I need new. My ankles. I need a four by four. I'm working on a two yeah. by two right now. I need some four by fours down there. You should just go. You should just go completely keto for twenty twenty one. What did we say need. today? What did I say today? We were having. We had. We were having our last. My last meal in Toronto. Yeah. It was what we're gonna do after. Uh, after this, we're having. This is our last um, meal in Toronto. And we got we got seafood congee, uh, we got some some crispy pork, some suyuk, we got some some Thailand, we got some donuts, and we had a nice breakfast. And then our whole thing at the office is like we eat out every meal, right? We order yeah. food in, which is good, yeah. you know, good for 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 restaurants. And I love supporting restaurants. We love eating delicious food. Uh, but we we're like, I, and I I was just like, you know what we should do? I was like, honestly. We should go vegan for three months. Don't go vegan, Maddie. Maddie, let me explain something to you. I'm going to go vegan. Don't go vegan, dude. Here's what's going to happen. I'm vegan. vegan. I'm vegan. Maddie, listen to me. Just fucking vegan. listen to me. It's one thing I know about amongst a million things. If you go vegan, you're going to get fatter because there's too many fucking vegan options that are fatty. It's all carbs. You're going to be like, oh, this vegan milkshake is good. Oh, let me eat this vegan fucking fried chicken. Let me eat these vegan fries. It's no, I fucking- don't eat more. No, when I say vegan. When I say vegan, two tone, I mean vegetable based veganism. That's what I mean. I'm not. I'm not. I don't eat mock so you're meats. Eat, I don't eat tempeh. You're going to eat, eat bread. Gonna you're going to eat bread. No, rice. I'm not going to eat any bread. I'm going to be. I'm going to only eat 100 percent vegetables for three months. Uh, this is Maddie, a complete lie. Maddie, but Maddie, do something, in my mind, I was saying this you, as an option. Here's what you. Here's what you can do, and you can actually do this. Make yourself delicious meat. Have some salad. And maybe once in a while, I'll have a sweet potato. If you do that, it's very simple. You'll fucking shed weight like a fucking, like a gladiator. But you have to be disciplined. Well, look at me you from here. Like, from here, I look great. This angle is good. And then when I do this, you can see my, my breast meats. All right. I got, I got about, you can see my breast I got, meats. I got 20, 25 minutes left here. So, um, we, we, uh, we, we're now we're in. So May was good. Room. It was, it was the beginning. I think, I think the poker also showed true color. Like, I think that was the first time that you ever wanted to physically hurt me. Because I drove you there, and I think it was the first time that I ever really thought that you were going to try to hurt me. I would have stopped you hurting me because I'm able to. But I just was, I, 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 was I, on the I, cliff. I saw I was in, it in your eyes that yeah. I stopped because I know that our friendship was worth me stopping. I had that moment where I go, Maddie, this next, be, just Maddie, it's time to stop. And I looked at you, and you, I remember you and I had a moment where we looked at each other's eyes, and I said, Yes, I will strike you. And you're like, okay, I don't want to And I said, yes, I see it. And I would stop you from striking me, but I will stop because I cherish our friendship. So I chose to de-escalate. You you chose life. You chose life. Um, So, (laughs) Matt, um, 
we, you know, we're talking about June. Uh, we don't want to talk. We don't want to get into the whole thing about cops because that's like a whole hour. But uh, we had a. I remember that. Cops still started. suck. Are we yeah, just just cops. cops still suck? We can just yeah. uh, cops still suck. The whole shit. That's it. Uh, heavy, heavy, and Ali Mac that month. Oh. Let's, let's talk about the heavy episode. Let's do a couple minutes. Heavy and Ali okay. Mac. The heavy episode. Can you talk about it? Is heavy? Has he recovered? Heavy. I saw heavy. He was. He was. I delivered a personal pizza to heavy. Yeah. Uh During he's in Toronto right now. What did he think of your pizza? So he can have Hanukkah with his family. Where yeah. he was. This was a. Uh, uh, last week, actually. Um, and uh, I brought him a pizza, you know, uh, being a good friend. Um, I'm going to say that the podcast uh, was a bit of a divot into our friendship. You know, we had him on. I was um, extremely rude. I was extremely, um, you know, uh, I attacked him. I attacked him. You went in on heavy. Bo- I bodied him. I bodied yeah. him. You went in on uh, heavy. I had to. You, I had to follow suit because there, we both have inside us lurking the, the bully. There's a bully that lives in it, both it, it was, it was, It was one of those things, honestly. It was one of those things where it is, and I told him this. We were talking about it. We actually were talking about it because I'm always like, I've been telling him to come on. I'm just always like, whenever I see him, whenever I see him, I'm like, come back on. And now, he's, <laughs> and now he, he's just like, you know what he said? And heavy, wherever you are, you're coming back on. But I want it. The thing is, he's like, I'm coming on. I'm coming in hot. And he's like, I'm going to fucking body you and two tone. And he, so Amazing. he. <laughs> I, I welcome that. I would love for him to come. So we're here. having maybe our first guest of 2021 might be Jeff Heavy Dancing. Um, I got, you should tell and, him. And I think, tell, I think I would love it. Tell, tell Heavy that if that's the tack that he wants to take. I'm speaking for myself. It's mm. it's it's not going to work out the way. If he, he comes in hot, work. what if he comes it's, in hot? It's what not going to go hot? the way. It ain't going to go the way he thinks it's going to go. It's going to go the other way. <laughs> He's just, it, it doesn't have. It's just not going to happen. But tell him to bring it. Um, listen. So let's, let's keep it moving. Here. So 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 that was. I think that was I, honestly. But this is the thing that I was going to say just quickly. I honestly think that that was one of the best podcasts. Ever, I think it. I think it was a uh, beautiful podcast. You guys want to go back, check it out, watch the heavy episode. Also, we followed that up with Ali Mack, who I think is one of the best comedians uh, in Los Angeles in America. Um, she she's hilarious. She is um, somebody. Uh, I don't know. I think she's just a great comedian, good friend, all around ace. Do we, I think we talked about Trump and Biden enough in July. This yeah. is stupid. Who cares? But we did have, shout out to our guests. We had Eric Andre on. Beautiful, beautiful Eric Andre. Um, you know, still waiting to see his movie. He came out with an entire brand new season, a season five of Eric Andre's show. But the real, you know, he broke, shout he out broke, to Sean he, B. He, he, he we had Michelle. News. He broke the news that... Um, that uh, what's his face was bouncing early. Remember on our show, first time. Oh, Hannibal. That, that Hannibal was uh was gonna leave, and um, and uh, you know, um, was that news? That was, was that news, news to us. I mean, it was interesting having him on. He's such a wild guy, and he just wanted to talk to you about you know deep frying you know conch shells and shit, which is just like I was. Dude, I was, that's all. I was young, and that that's evil. the thing. That's the thing is like honestly, like it, it is a perfect example of. The amount of people that just want to talk to me about uh, food. It's crazy. It's crazy. That, that, look, let's be real. Anyone that's gotten this far into this podcast on this episode, here's the thing. This is, this is the dilemma. Maddie's whole brand is built around food. People want to talk to him about food. Everyone wants Maddie to tell him how to make you know, the best fucking waffles in the world. And they want, to, they want to pull him aside, all these celebrities. They want to talk to him about eating and cooking and all this shit. And we're trying to do a podcast that has substance. And... You know, we're 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 basically swimming upstream here. I'm 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 working, you know, and then and then working with Maddie himself is just kind of like, you know, um, a process. So, anyways, let's um <laughs> let's go into August and talk about. But look, potato have, in the pants. Do you not want to mention oh my potato God. in the pants? How did fucking potato in the pants. Listen, my girl Akiko, her da- Akiko. I mean, what a look, Akiko. what a glimpse, what a glimpse into mm. a piece of American life. 
the, the this 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 strange and odd look into a family, mm. uh, a Swiss man married to a black woman with a half mm. Chinese half Swiss daughter who who made an invention called potato in the pants. It's a plush potato that you put in your pants to make it look like you have a big cock. Is there anything more American than that story? This is the this is the beauty of America. That's the that that is the perfect picture of America. That's the America everyone's fighting That's the America for, we all want. Entrepreneurship, um, unifying sexual, loves, sexual tension between races, yes. Chinese people, and 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 plus potatoes that talk. I you mean, know what's amazing? Do you know what's so amazing? What like is amazing? how 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 like you can see her father. What was her father? Mark. 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 His 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 whole life comes down to like potato in the pants, right? And then Akiko, yeah. one of the greatest artists, uh, you know, like it's amazing how creative people can really be. You don't know what family, where they're coming from. Imagine like people. How many people have seen Akiko's art around the world? Oh, I mean, she's she's a very she's a very um, she's an amazing designer, an amazing artist, and she's prolific beyond. I mean, she's done every movie poster that you love. And but but I gotta say that you know if you look at if you look at Mark's pedigree and then her though, dad but her dad's Mark potato in the pants I like, guess yeah isn't but that her amazing? dad is a her dad's a crazy automotive designer like his if you look at his art you can see where it comes from with her it's definitely in the in the genes and he just he just focused he just hyper focused on uh, making a plush toy that you put in your underwear and uh, what an episode oh. I mean to me that was special to me that was a great episode I don't think people are gonna understand this until you know after the after the world ends and you find this stuff in the time capsule that's launched into space, they're going to see this as a marker for what humanity is, which is a powerful truth angels. So um, I'm scrolling past. I'm scrolling past. Uh, I'm scrolling out of out of July. But I just want to say really quick, and I don't want an answer to this. Trump is old racist, has dementia, 25 rape allegations. Biden, old racist, has dementia, eight rape allegations. Those are those are his notes, which I like. Um, so. Let's which see. one, which one, uh, you know, which one raped more? 25. I mean, eight, one, one rape, allegation. <laughs> one rape allegation is a lot. Eight is crazy. 25 is just like, you're, you're just a professional rapist. Um, okay. So let's so go disgusting. into. It's so sad. It's, uh, it's so sad. It's, it's fine. Uh, so sad. Okay. Pizza, pizza gate. I don't even okay. know why I said that. Okay. So now we're into so, August. Uh, I got I got sixteen minutes. We're in here. August. Andrew Andrew we Callahan. Got... Andrew Santino. What a what a fucking what a two great Andrews. Take two great Amazing Andrew guests. Santino. Amazing fucking guests that I would never dream of having. And you know, two guys that I respect on both fronts. Uh fire. What can I say? Let's keep moving. Two tone drops of chicken in the sink during the cooking episode. That was. I think that was one of our biggest moments. I think that was a big traction moment. I think that was a really big. When I put the iPod, when the iPods fell on top of the chicken, the i the 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 earbud falling in to with the chicken was massive. I I think that was just a moment where the 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 grease really started moving the wheels. You know, a lot of people DM me too about the washing of the chicken. And they're like, I wash my chicken. So I was taught to wash chicken. I don't know. Different households do different things, man. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm going to keep this. I'm just following well, my lead. I'm going to keep it moving. Today. I literally have 16 minutes. Okay. So uh, September. Uh, Andrew steps in as co-host. Um, we have Paul Gnation. Yeah, and I was Jody off. Hill. Why was I off? What was I doing? I was doing you something. You didn't give a shit Was I having a birth of a baby? You're, you're crying about something. Who knows? Uh, you're threatening to leave again. Um <laughs> You're having a baby. Uh, Maddie decides to have. Maddie goes. Let's have another baby. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's have a third child. Let's have a third child. Um, Third's I mean, easier. It's easier. I mean, at least the baby makes you hustle harder, right? I mean, it makes you go crazy. You gotta go. You gotta do it. Even you gotta. You got a full other mouth to feed. You got mouth to feed. You gotta buy hockey skates. You gotta buy colleges. You gotta, yeah. you know, or just have soldiers protecting your land from the zombies. You know. So we have this leads us into. We did Pog Nation, which was a. Complete flop. Uh, Jody Hill, which was great and amazing. We just, you and I just continually talked over Jody and, and steamrolled him. We had one of the greatest directors, writers of modern cinema on, and we didn't even let him finish a sentence. It was no. one of the greatest podcasts of the history of our podcast. And then we did the graffiti pod, and Marty One was born. I have to, I'm going to say to you that I made the PDF. 
I got in your ear and walked you through it step by step. And, you know, for your first piece, it wasn't bad. I'm not going to, I'm going to give it to you. You did okay. You did a decent piece. We showed it to our graffiti friends around the world. Everyone got excited. Writers were hitting both of us up. When are you doing this again? We planned part two, the graffiti jam, alloy, Ewok, grimy wanted to come paint. People were, the word was being spread. Maddie was coming in. Boom, COVID surges. No more graffiti ex- extravaganza. Neighborhood barbecue was going to provide the meat. Um, so we got to put a pin in that. But we're coming back to it, uh, dude. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't want to say I'm a graffiti writer, but PTA crew, pretty strong right now. Pretty PTA strong. Crews, maybe P- PTA, maybe AEWR. Uh, AEWR. Yeah. You not, know, maybe AWR becomes a faction of PTA. I'm not sure yet. Me and you not. can talk about that later. I don't think so. Um, um, what's up with? Can I ask you a quick question about AWR with with, with Nocta? What's up with that? With who? Streetwear talk with Nocta. What the fuck is Nocta? The the the, the Nike. Oh, I Drake. don't even know. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't even know why they. I mean, it's got nothing to do with us. Who knows? Oh, why it's they just did that. it's just that. I oh, just okay, okay. I just repost it in circle and be like. That's uh, like an old. It was school. like an actual thing. Like that was AWR. <laughs> like in the in the in the coats about to write the walls. It is. It is actually. We are. We actually are part of that Nocta deal. Um, the whole crew. <laughs> we're all getting chipped off from Drake directly. No, I mean, you know, whenever uh, it's an old school thing to be excited when you see yourself represented in a way that's actually not you. You're like, oh shit, those are my. That's my crew, but it's not really your crew. Um. No. All right. So, appropriate. Hey, massive, Everyone appropriate. Massive Little appropriate. wildfires. Maddie, I got. I got literally 13 minutes. Massive wildfires ravaged California, uh, destroying Two Tones' dad's property. That's true. Fire came, smoked my dad, took everything he owned, and now he lives in a bus. So, you know, we did a GoFundMe, um, got a few bucks for him. Maddie pushed, uh, Maddie pushed it on his portals. And uh, Maddie also is committed to donating 50 grand of his own money, which is really nice of him because He's got money to throw around, whereas I don't. I'm the business person. Everything gets it has to be put back in. Your business, in. Uh, your born and raised has done much better than my business. I'll tell you that. No, much. that's not true. We're scaling up. It's all we're reinvesting. You know, it's not. Yeah, all I'm money reinvested. To be I'm constantly reinvesting. No, no, no. You're buying. You're buying Rolexes and Harleys, and you're fucking. You're you're spending three thousand dollars on late on L.A. Uh, Dodgers hats from the '80s. It's ridiculous. <laughs> your your spending is out of control. And you're gonna have to go on. No, on, my account said just I have to red light it for right now. We're red lighting my spending right now. Uh, let's see. October. We're into October. Uh, Dog pieces. face. Two tone got caffeinated on air. That was a great episode. The used the presidential debates were wonderful to watch. And Sean Connery dies, and everyone started airing him out, which is like the man dies. Everyone's sad, and then all of a sudden, everyone else comes out and goes, "Well, you know, he did slap bitches." <laughs> and um, <laughs> he's you know, out. He's out. He's done. He's canceled. After death, he gets canceled. No one could cancel him in life because they were too scared. They would have got slapped. You can't get. They would have got. They would have got slapped. Yeah. So then, uh, November. We're in November. Okay, we're coming. We're cruising, cruising through November. What a, what a, what a fucking month that is. Biden's elected president. President Trump does what he does. Richie Shazam is on the pod Ooh. as I'm driving to Arizona. I lose. I lose um, service driving through the mountains, or I just decide to stop podcasting and let you guys do it on your own. You you use it. It dropped once, and then you're like, I'm good. I'm going to let Maddie and Richie have fun on this. You one. froze. It's fine, two tone. I'm all, I, it doesn't, it doesn't work. I just froze. I mean, I the, ri- froze. yeah, you froze. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was like, oh, I'm, I, I'm losing reception. I got to go, guys. You know, I just was like, yeah, I, 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 it was too much. I, 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 I dipped in. I hear the podcast was great. Nobody watched it. Richie's tight. Um, <laughs> Jason. Trish, Trish was a guest. I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers. I'm sure that thing skyrocketed. We finally had Trish on without any warning. She pops on, and she, uh, we she had did the, it. She did we it. We had she your lovely on. wife. She potted. Yeah, she potted with us. It's amazing. I'm really glad. That's that the first happened. time she doesn't do anything. It, like that's the first time I think she's been uh, on air ever. So, yeah, and then um, Maddie, Maddie, uh, Jason gets COVID. Which is just like wow. You're reading these. Gets, You're reading the these things like the way I read the from the planet from the planet <laughs> Salamander gets COVID. Not only You're did literally he get, reading these the same way I read the ads. <laughs> right. Well, I'm trying to get through it, and uh, not only does Jason get COVID, but he gets sick. He got COVID. He came here, did a few episodes of my house. Now he's sick again. And I said, COVID. just don't come here with that fucking germ shit. I don't want it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You keep Actually, your pierced t-shirts at home. 
Bleep that out, Jason. I can't say <laughs> Make sure you bleep that out. Don't forget. I can't say that. I forgot what it meant and I said it and it's late and just bleep it out. Don't yeah, fucking forget this one, Jason. Don't forget to bleep this out like when you got you almost got me killed by not bleeping out. All right. Who? Nope. Bleep all that out. Okay. So now we're at we're at we're at uh we want to send a shout out, okay, to Robbie, a fan of maybe one of our biggest fans. I uh, love Robbie. Got, Robbie, you know, he, he's got stage four kidney cancer, and his brother in law asked for a shout out. And I just want to say to Robbie at Honest Bob Jr. That's H O N E S T B O B J R. Honest Bob Jr. Yo, my guy. Uh, thank you for being our fan. We appreciate you, and thank you to your brother-in-law for for doing the alley oop at us and lobbing this out there into the into the digital uh, stratosphere to hope that we because we caught it and we we tuck in and we grabbed it and we want to we want to wish you um love and uh, and health. And uh, and you're gonna beat this. What do you think, Matt? Do you think Robbie's gonna get through this? Robbie, I hope you get through this. I want to send you a massive amount of really strong, positive what? intentions. And you know, I just hope every day is a little bit better than the last, man. And I think, Maddie, can uh, we? I'm gonna throw you, know, you one of Maddie's kidneys, Robbie. Uh, it's gonna be a little. It might be a little outsized. You're gonna give me mine. No, yeah. no, no, we're going to give Maddie, we're going to shoot one of Maddie's kidneys over. He's going to field dress a kidney. He's going to freeze dry it and he's going to send it over and just drop that thing in there, snap in like a Lego. And it's going to already come preloaded with gravy and Skittles and like 80 pounds of Thai food. And that thing should take you to where you need to go. Um, no, Robbie. So, Robbie, much, that's, yeah, that's, Robbie, that's it. You know, Robbie, I just want you to know that that two-tone uh, everything he just said is true. So we're, we're, we're going to do this together. We love you. And, uh, you know, I want to see, uh, I want, I want you to send us a video saying, you know, I want you to fucking chirp us, break down two tones, you know, stupid mug, make fun of my weight, free range. I want to see a video of you roasting us. Why, why, why are you tasking Robbie with roasting us? Like You're just like, you're wouldn't like, that be fun? Wouldn't that be fun for him to roast us? I don't know. I don't, maybe that's not his bag. It's like saying, like, you know, hey, man, you guy that's never done this before, draw me a portrait. It's like maybe that's not his thing. Maybe he's not a roaster. You know, maybe Robbie. Maybe, you know, Robbie, do whatever you got to do. Do whatever you got to do. Maybe he's got a good uncle that can chirp like a motherfucker. You know, maybe Robbie? Maybe he's got an uncle that can chirp. Robbie, keep your fucking head up and, and push through this shit and think positive. Robbie. And, uh, Robbie. You're going to get Robbie. If you do get through it, Maddie will pledge you like he did with my father at 50K if you make it out. So that's two pledges for Maddie. That's 100K. Um, And that's the year. And that's it. You know, we. 2020, uh, baby. 2020. We did it. 2021 is 2020 part two. Let's just roll in. Uh, you know, I'm going to have, uh, maybe two days off and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm not going to be able to stop. So I, I hope you enjoy your vacay. What do you want to do? Uh, thank you everyone for listening. Like, and subscribe, like, subscribe, smash come, the to, subscribe our button. come, to, come our to our new channel, come to our channel, channel, powerful, we have truth our own channel. Angels. Yeah. powerful truth angels is uh, uh, the greatest podcast of all time. Come to the new channel, hang out. We're going to be putting up some more behind the scenes stuff actually, and doing a lot more work for you because we love you. We're not going anywhere, even and though Tone likes to act like I'm constantly going to quit. That's never going to happen. We're doing this forever. Shout out to all our guests, all our fans. We love you forever. 2022, 2020, suck my butthole. The only thing good about 2021 is PTA merch is coming. That's it. Yeah, Two-Tone, Captain Merch Guy, the best streetwear company in the fucking world. Anybody that wants fucking Powerful Truth Angels merch, please blow up Two-Tone's comments. No, no, no. no, no. Tell them to stop fucking around with Born and Raised. Start doing powerful truth angels merch so you guys can be wearing the freshest threads ever. Don't threads. Blow me up. 